Our GMA cover story and heart health in underrepresented communities. A new study, the first of its kind, will look at the effectiveness of treatments for women and black and Hispanic patients. And joining us now is ABC medical correspondent, Dr. Darian Sutton. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Why has this taken so long? Uh, you know, that's a difficult question to answer, but just in summary about how we got here, it's a lot about mistrust. And so when you look historically, when you look at the exploitation, the abuse and the neglect of black and brown Americans within science that has led, unfortunately, and we know we know these cases to be true, the Tuskegee experiments, which lasted up to 40 years. And then if you look at other examples in history where black and brown Americans were experimented on without fully understanding the risks. And that, of course, leads to mistrust. But instead of addressing that mistrust, much of science decided instead to withdraw black and brown Americans, as well as women, from these scientific studies. And if you can imagine, that leads to a very difficult decision when, as a physician, you're trying to make evidence-based decisions for patients to help improve their outcomes, and you have limited to no data. So today, this is an incredible advancement because this investment is helping to address those inequities so that we can gather and obtain reasons why that mistrust exists and hopefully improve outcomes. And, and we actually have a story to show you on why this is so important. So take a look at this. The chest pain will just start happening and it will wake me up in the middle of the night. The chest pain started for 30-year-old Jaleesa King Rudder three years ago. It felt like I was having a heart attack. Eventually, doctors diagnosed the Brooklyn native with severe coronary artery disease, or CAD, a buildup of plaque in her arteries that can lead to a heart attack. It's the most common type of heart disease, which is the leading cause of death in most racial and ethnic groups in the United States. However, the research done on how to treat CAD successfully has traditionally only been studied in white men. When we're performing the surgeries, we ourselves notice that in women, that the vessels are smaller and they can be more difficult to handle. And we don't yet know if that makes a difference in terms of the outcomes. But now, with a $30 million award, while Cornell Medicine will launch the first of its kind study called Recharge, looking at women and minority populations with heart disease to determine which procedure, stenting or bypass, will best improve survival rates and quality of life. If you are a white man and you have coronary artery disease, well, your treatment will be based on very strong data. And if you are a woman or if you are a non-white patient, well, that's not the case. After making what can at best be called an educated guest to undergo bypass surgery instead of receiving a stent. Hey, Dr. Hi, Jalisa. How are you? I'm okay. Today, Jalisa is feeling great. Actually. Research is trying to save our lives. I hope whoever hears this will want to be a part of the research that's going on here at Cornell. It will make a big difference. So it looks like she made the right guess, but this shouldn't be a guess. What shouldn't are the potential be. benefits here for patients? So the potential of this study is to understand, again, what is the best outcome? What is the best treatment for people like Jaleesa? As you stated so eloquently, you know, there are two different main options for the treatment of coronary artery disease or blocked arteries. That is one, a cabbage or a coronary artery bypass, which is a surgery, or something called a PCI or percutaneous coronary stent. And both of these are options, many for patients, but again, the evidence that should be inclusive of black and brown people people as well as women does not exist. So the point of this study is to find out which of those answers would be best for a patient, again, to improve outcomes, to improve survival, and to reduce complications. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Darian Sutton. As always, such an important topic. We appreciate it. Thank you for thank having you. me. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.